How's it going guys? It's a rainy day today, so I thought I'd show you a couple of, uh, of things that I have. It's what's in my backpack. These are the tools right now. And the main things that you need when you go in the woods. And I'm gonna go over everything here. There's a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. What's in my backpack? All right. So let's get this started. First of all, let me make something clear. When you go in, your, in the woods, most importantly, things are gonna melt, burn, and you know, uh, and needs to be repaired easily. First of all, avoid plastics, avoid Nalgene bottles, avoid anything made of plastic, because I'll give you an example, native people that order stuff when they're up in, up north alone for a long time and there's only one ship or two per year that comes with merchandise, you don't want anything that's gonna break or melt. So they don't deal with plastics. You can have a, 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 a wooden spoon, uh, you can have uh, anything made out of natural material like that, but they do not deal with plastics. That's uh, one of their values. And, and there's one, things I wanna, uh, one thing I wanted to make clear about that, is that if you drink water in a plastic bottle or a cam camelback, it's full of BPAs that infuses in the water and your body recognizes it as an estrogen mimicker. So now we're gonna go through what I'm, I'm using uh, as a water bottle. It's a Gaillard Design Nalgene bottle. And I actually just uh, can hang that over a fire like this very easily. And it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. What I also like to do is, is use those two here, put one like this, with that little string holds it on, holds it on real nice, and I have I can bring two like this. I love that. Um, and here's the BCD um, mug and bottle. This is something I really I know it's plastic, but there's a little advantage with this. Nalgene bottles are transparent, I know, but uh, you saw Nalgene's and you know like everybody's seen this. But Nalgene in this specific, specific bottle, it's very solid, so you can put warm water in there. Close it nicely and slip that, uh, slip that into your sleeping bag to keep warm. It's gonna ward off the humidity and you're gonna feel warm. Why? Because once your toes are cold, they're never gonna stop being cold unless you do something dramatic instantly. So rather you put your foot on your friend's belly or you go into your sleeping bag and you put a couple of these warm bottles, Nalgene's, inside. This is the only reason why in the winter I bring Nalgene bottles. But how do you make, um, how do you, how can you melt the water from a plastic bottle if it's all frozen? The only solution would be to, when, when you're finished with your bottle, you put everything in stainless, in metal, so you can put it on the wood stove or over the fire and it's gonna melt without melting the bottle, which infuses the plastic with the water, and we just talked about that. So, as well, see, we have two types of bottle, and also there's something very nice, the, the, there's a lot of uh, canteens that come, you can put a little lid. It's, this is a plastic lid, you don't want to put this in front of the fire, obviously. So, what I'm suggesting people is you can buy a stainless steel lid, and I think they sell them for any type of uh, military canteen. Very nice. Okay, that being said, let's go on to the next subject today. A little sip of coffee. Let's talk about billy cans. Billy cans, billy cans. Yes, sir. Look at these. Look at these. Zebra billy cans. I think they're seagull as well. A little less expensive, but zebra billy cans fit the bill for me. Look at these guys. Really cool. Uh, actually, this can fit. You can put a canteen in there. Pretty cool. And here, you can. Uh, I usually use this on embers to, 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 to make, let's say, um, uh, a bannock without oil. What happens is if your bannock is too sticky, it's gonna stick to the metal and it, 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 it's kind of harder to get it, uh, it's gonna stick basically. So what I do is I make a bannock that's really smooth and soft like a baby's butt, where you like your butt, basically. And um, I put that on coals and I turn it like that and it, it heats up evenly. Uh, because, I'll give you an example, a burner will only make a round circle like this. So, we're gonna get to the burner just after this. These are wonderful. This is 700, uh, 900, 700 milliliters, this is one point something, and this is whatever, 16, this is 12, this is 10. I'm not sure how uh, the liters, but, I, you know, you would want this and this. This is a little too small. 
Uh, I got this because this is an all-in-one. You can actually use this as a, a plate and you can protect your food from the plate and this is your drink, you know, this is where you drink from and it's really easy to hang it. Same as the BCB Crusader kit, they also have this little piece of metal that you could have put like this so you can hang it over a fire. I, I made a, I think I made a picture, I put a picture, it was really nice um, on YouTube a while back. So these are the cooking pans that are, uh, I like because they're kind of heavy duty steel and they keep more heat. Uh, let's go with this now. This is uh, the equivalent of Tatanka. Um, basically, there's a little ledge right here. You see this ledge right here? So it prevents, you can basically go like this. And then what we have here is the most important of all. I would like to tell you that one of the most important thing to do is to boil your water in something that you would only use water. Because you have to clean it and it's gonna, uh, anything you do in here is gonna infuse in the next thing you boil. So it's kind of like a sea sauce situation, you have to clean it up. So I would only use this for tea, coffee, water, boiling, whatever. Which gives you more, uh, uh, basically, uh, um, it's easier to start cooking stuff and if you have a, a, de a designated uh, teapot. Just like at home, you're, you're boiling water in a teapot, okay? So this could be used as a plate, could be used as for a lot of things. What I also do is I put a piece of chaga in here, on one of these lids, and um, I put it, and if there's too many mosquitoes, uh, I put a piece of chaga and light it up, put a, a little spark in it, and this, this is practical. Now, look at this. This cost me $120, guys. $45 plus $45 shipping plus $30 uh, customs. I'm crazy. But look at this. You see why I'm crazy? Look at this. Look at the nice, look at the nice lid you have here. The lip here contains the coal. All you have to do basically is, I, ha I had a tool for it, but you use anything. I could use this here. Use that, take it, bring it up. Okay, this is a shovel, a British Army shovel. I'll talk with Canadian Army or British Army shovel. I'll talk about it later. But this is amazing, it's small, it's compact, it's pretty light, uh, it fits into a backpack pretty easily, but the weight here is a, is a real issue. But you can bake, you can um, make stews, you can make so many things with cast iron that um, regular cooking pans, um, you would need a constant heat, but with this, coals, it's amazing. It keeps the heat and it, and it cooks evenly. I love it. I would really recommend you uh, to buy another man, a brand than Old Mountain since this is made in China and um, the whole thing was too expensive <laughs> absolutely too expensive so what I have used this for I make Dutch babies in here uh, you can make uh, stews so bannock lots of stuff amazing I love it so incredible amazing all right so let's talk about uh, burners because burners are a way to purify water we just talked about the metal containers you can you can use this is the MSR mountain safety research dragonfly it sounds like a, like an F-16 like a freaking jet so there you go you plug that in here you all right you close the valve you pump the air in you connect it you light it and you close the fuel as the metal gets warmer the tube becomes really hot and the fuel, the, the, I mean the, 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 the white fuel, becomes um, a gas and then it starts making a nice noise. So, and also get your repair kit. There's oil here to, for, to lubricate the pump. There's spare pieces in here. It's absolutely important for you to understand one really important thing. The nozzle here, has to be changed if you use dirty fuel. If you don't use white fuel, you have to change the nozzle. And the nozzle has a bigger opening so it doesn't get clogged up like with gasoline or with kerosene. So there you go, you have the tip. I'm trying to run over everything quick so you have a lot of information in a short video because I don't feel like making 20 videos to get, to get views. What I want is to get down dirty in everything that you can get in the shortest amount of time and I'm sure you would appreciate that so if you're on the run, if you're on the run or on the move and you don't want to have to stop everywhere I mean if you want to have to boil water you have filters like this MSR actually if you ask me they're the most solid reliable cheapest and uh, easy to find water filters Ooh, 
Um, this thing, usually there's a little... Oh, uh, anyways. This is the part that takes the water, there's a little foam here, and uh, it prevents the, any things from getting into the filter, like uh, dust or sand. So it's really simple. There's a ceramic filter in here, okay? You have to uh, wash it often. You have to boil it to uh, basically kill anything inside. See, it's, all, it's still wet, so it's very bad. Ceramic, I can feel there's sand here. I didn't clean it up. I did not maintain my water filter the last time. Shame on me. It's full of sand. It's been a, I think I used that uh, one. Anyways, I gotta clean this up. It's all fucked. Sorry, I'm not politically correct. So, I want to talk to you about this water filter. Now there's the MSR Guardian. It's really expensive, but it's indestructible and it filters viruses. So, um, it's really expensive, as I said, but you can like fill up a liter or two, I think, in, in, in like less, in like a minute, okay? So it's really amazing. But I had a really big problem with the Lifesaver system. It has this nano filter here, okay? Um, I think it's 0.1 micron. Basically, it, uh, it's smaller than the smallest virus. So uh, that's the filter. And there's a small carbon filter at the end here that you have to change four times, or I think four to eight times per, uh, this is a Lifesaver, 8,000 or 6,000, you can go on lifesaver.usa, uh, lifesaver system, and you'll see all the information. As I said, I just want to go through everything fast so you understand a bit of what I'm talking about really fast so you can do your research on your own. Um, there's a sport lid here, so basically what you do is you open it like that, still, see, I, I didn't even maintain this, it's been a long time. There's a sponge here, you can actually use to sponge water and put it in here. I gotta dry these off. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I can barely use it. So basically what happens, you scoop your water, you put your filter in, and then you pump air. But the big problem is this is the main problem. Look, it's flimsy, it broke, it fell. I had to buy a $50 Max um, Edition case for it. So this is, I don't like it. Uh, it's too fragile, but it gives you water instantaneously. You drink it like that. You don't need like to plug the MSR to a bottle and then do it. This is the bottle that you carry with you. You scoop water, pump it. There's not 750 uh, milliliters in there. There's a problem. When the pressure comes out and you have less water at the bottom, it doesn't, I can't, uh, even if I pump, the water still doesn't come out. So if it's halfway through, you have to refill it anyway. So I have a big problem with this water filter. I don't think it's, it's, it's logical for me to suggest you to buy this, but if you have access to this filter, please buy it if you don't have access to anything else because it filters water uh, that's full of viruses, Africa and everything, uh, I, 80. Um, uh, this is, uh, but also they charge you twice because they actually do a donation for countries that need those filters, but I don't know, it's like, it seems like a gimmick. Last but not least, I have another thermos, but there's some for food and there's some for tea, water, or whatever. Like, like, like when you wake up in the morning, would you like to have hot water on the go right away so you can pack up? This is hot water, so you're you're ready to go. You open it slightly like this, and you, you pour your water. Still, I didn't clean that up from the last time I've been in the woods. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so cooking. Now I'm gonna tell you there's another water filter. Uh, uh, I forgot. Um, there's two choices with the Frontier Pristine uh, Pioneer Pro. Um, here you have a choice to, there's another insert here. Basically this is a nano filter, it filters lots of stuff, okay? And here um, you have the, the filter here, I don't think it filters viruses, but uh, the life straw does. But this filter I got it because you can connect it to any Camelback Quick Connect tube, and then you can basically Put any water in a Camelback. Stick this on the on a on a Camelback quick release tube. This one is a little old. I had a little problem with it. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's gotta. I don't use Camelback anymore because it tastes like plastics. This is why I don't use Camelback. Source is the best uh, for the taste. Doesn't taste. And if you wanna put anything into a Camelback, don't put city water in it. There's chloride, fluorine, everything, and it makes it taste like crap. You rather go buy 
a clean water, uh, four liter water bottle and stick it in there and keep the other liter you have into what, your one liter bottle. But this, you can disconnect this, tu this, this tube here and stick it right in the water so you don't have to be like into the water because the tube they give you with this is this long. It's practical to blow on embers to light your fire in the morning, for example, but it's... Anyways, I wouldn't suggest this too much. So, anyways, this is done. And here's what I like. The, the, um, this is MSR... Um, this is the filter that USMC uses with the source hydration system. This is the Vagabond Camelback with the um, Nalgene compliant... Um, lid here so you can plug the MSR filters on it this is why I love it uh, you have here you have the connections so you can plug that on any backpack anywhere a car a, a four-wheeler whatever it's gonna stay secure you can you can stow the um, uh, the shoulder the shoulders harm the shoulder um, straps inside here uh, source has this thing that you can I'm gonna move this coffee because it's getting messy around here so let's just go through this quickly. You've seen sources maybe. There's a, there's a system here that you can clean it easier. You have to clean your Camelback. I cleaned this one a while back and I cleaned it every time. This is something I really have to clean a lot because sometimes I put shit water in there and I, I plug the filter. So this is another way you can clean it or here's the trick. You can put something in here so it can stay waterproof. You can blow air in here so you have a little security bag if you're swimming across a lake and you're, and you're afraid to lose your breath at the middle of the lake. This will save your life. Secret. Anyway, so I'm gonna remove this from the table. It's a big mess, but I'm gonna show you also um, quickly. Quick disconnect, connect here. You take your filter, stick it in here, put it here. And here's another trick. If this is inside and you fill it up, it won't have the 3.3 liters because this takes a little bit of space. So I remove this a bit, I fill it up, and then uh, it's good to go. Source hydration system, it's the best, unequivocally. So if you're using heat with all these systems, I mean cooking tools, uh, accessories, you need leather gloves. With fire, leather does not melt. You can see this is nylon here. And if you can see, nylon melts, like right here. You can see it melts. So I use these because they, they dry better. Because in the winter, there's a little problem. Leather get it, it's kind of, it, it's, it's a problem leather when it gets wet. And then it dries, it gets crusty. And then, so the nylon here helps to breathe and everything. So I like these gloves. It's really nice gloves.